Hey everybody, UWG Nick here and welcome back to another episode of Rise of the Tomb Raider. In the last episode, our frame rate suddenly tanked after opening a chest and I have no idea why it did that, but I uh, rebooted the game and everything seems to be okay. So we'll continue playing. Uh, I hope this doesn't happen every time we open a chest or move around here because in that case we're going to have an issue with this series. He led his followers through the desert. To the oasis. Cool. Read mural inscriptions to increase language skills. A secret entrance. Well, clearly. Alright, I opened that, but we're not going through that yet. I want to explore a little bit more. Still no sign of her. I don't think she survived the crash. Okay. Alright, let's go. Can't believe we're going to reach the tomb before sundown. They're after the tomb. I've got to find it before them. Well, yeah. It's the Prophet. Speaking with a foreign army, he convinced them to lay down their weapons. That's that prophet has some really high uh, persuasion skills. These are the miracles of the prophet of Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. Surprise. Uh, we couldn't read that, could we? Mm, my Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. I'll mark down the locations. Okay, press tab for map map update to the location of coin caches. Oh, okay, so when I read the Greek thing, it showed me where the coin cache was. Great. And we get upgrades if you collect coins. So coins will be interesting at least to collect. Okay, he's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mentioned this. Alright, then there's something here as well. Or was this where we came from? Yeah, this is where we came from. That's the area of the cursed frame rate, so let's not go there. So we've seen that, we've seen that one. We've gone up there. There's nothing more than to go through. Let's continue. Ooh, reminds me of Outlast. <laughs> It's amazing. If only Dad could have seen this. This is a really cool area. That's a big drop. Q objective beacon. Alright. Anything down there? No? Anything up there? Apparently not that either. Okay, so we're going Assassin's Creed. Whoa! Sh I'm gonna blame the controllers on that one. I was pressing up. But she was moving sideways, so... I guess I have to wait for her weight to shift. Anything here? We can go there. I don't think... Should we try? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we, sh uh, we shouldn't have tried. Okay, well now we know where to go at least. No, 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 no! Fuck! Up. Side. Up. Okay, so I have to jump like twice. Okay. Oh no. They're already here. Got to get doctor. inside. Uh. 
Balancing. Whoa. Balancing. Are we jumping? Apparently. She's taking some big risks. Oh, she is really determined to uh, find this place. Oh! Okay. So apparently I can control my my jumping in mid-air very well. Because I almost flew back from the, over the edge there. I was just trying to slow down a little bit, but nope, it let me turn completely. Jumpy, jumpy. No, 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 no. Fuck these controls. You really can't be in a hurry when uh, climbing in this game, apparently. Let's see. Jumpy, jumpy. Stop. Okay, I don't jump up. I just crawl the up. The Order of Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. So who talked? Did I pick something up that I didn't see? Because it sounded like a... Like one of those... Uh, not a camcorder, but one of those audio tape recorders. I guess it's an audio recorder. Or tape recorder. A way through. More pretty lighting. But I mean you seriously can't complain about the quality of this game, like visually at least. Damn it. Come on. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I played Outlast 2, you won't scare me with stuff like that. Actually, this kind of looks like the Heretic's abode. F to kick! F to shove! Just B to blow! can actually yeah they move that's nice it's a nice touch I just thought to myself like should I film this <laughs> I'm still in uh, like in my head I'm still playing outlast press E to pick up my son don't drop. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic. Claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? Okay. So, Trinity. Well, actually, I was going to say, tri like, the modern Trinity communicate by scrolls, but that might have been ancient. The prophet probably was. Slain by the order of Trinity. Neat. Okay. Damn it. That was too close. You couldn't have used a spear, you need to waste a bullet on that. The 
Okay. I'm trying to see if there's any murals to read. So I have a feeling that it's kind of important since this game technically doesn't let you go back two levels to uh, explore places that you might have missed earlier. So I, I feel like it's quite important to keep up with the like keep up with the leveling up of your language skills as you go. Since you're not allowed to go back anyways and read things you missed. So if you come to a place like a point where you can't read the murals or read the translations, then I'm guessing you're gonna start missing out of stuff and it's just gonna continue like that for the rest of the game. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna spend an excessive amount of time looking for everything. But I will have a quick look over every time we pass something. Am I supposed to shoot that down? Yeah. Well, now I'm diving. Should have shot it down first. Or can I stand up here? Okay. Get up on it. Wow, that one, like, the buoyancy of this. How do I drop? Maybe I just hold back. Oh, okay, then we jump. Stop it. Okay, but look at the buoyancy of this uh, little thing. It doesn't even sink, barely. I bet Jack and Rose and Titanic wish they would have had this one. Anyways, moving on. And her, and her hair gets wet and everything. Wow, they, they really... There's a lot of attention to detail in this game. Again, a really beautiful game. Like, uh, Outlast 2 was also really pretty in a sick, twist, and disgusting way. But it was well made, visually. Uh, and here we have another really well, well made, pretty game. E? Swim, 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 swim. She's wasting a lot of oxygen by kicking her feet. I used to free dive uh, a long time ago now, but I remember we were taught that the most we were taught that the most efficient way of swimming underwater is just using breaststroke. And barely moving your feet at all, like especially if you don't have flippers, uh, you're not you're you're burning a lot more oxygen. Danny, we made it, Dad. You're burning a lot more oxygen than, than you're generating thrust with your feet. So just using breaststrokes is the most efficient way to dive for long distances. It's not the fastest, but you get you get further before you uh, before you're out of breath. So panicking was never a good thing when you were diving. I can dive. I can't go very deep. Hold swim, shift to swim faster. Yeah, we just talked about that. Got to find a way to get up higher. Okay. Maybe I can raise the water. Yeah, we probably can. Well, that's the first one. Let's see if we don't miss any coin caches or or um, murals or anything like that. Seems I can't get up on that side at all. And I'm guessing we have to break this thing immediately. Yep. It's the only option at the moment. Let us swim up there. Yep. And then what? On the edge here. Yeah, I'm on the edge of glory. 
That might have been a share song. Let's see, can we do anything here now? Can we climb up there? Nope. That dive though. But we can climb up there. And we can jump to that thing. Close from, mm, I guess the water pressure is just keeping it open. Now it closed. Hmm, scroll. My lord, what you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the prophet's heart. I saw him die. Doubtless, his people have propped another man up in the slain prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken, discredited, and exiled. We will head south, and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the prophet is dead. This, I swear. Okay, so it seems that they, the, the mural that we saw was also of them killing him. So I guess we can assume that they actually did try killing him, but somehow he survived. If it was a miracle or not, I'm not gonna get into. Aha, hmm. uh -huh, my exploring paid off. up there as well. More money. Okay, so the coin caches are actually visible without getting too close to them. They're just, they, they have this little shiny blinky light, which is completely acceptable according to video game logic. Anything they could loot should be shiny or blinky in some way. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Son of a bitch. You can climb up there. Does this help me in any way? Well, that's gonna break. want to go down there no I don't want to go down there Damn. they're almost inside I'm in a terrible idea my lord I ride at the head of a small army of the faithful armed and ready and I have good news we have located the tomb of the prophet we were attacked by madmen upon the road wearing the prophet's livery but they were easily bested we allowed one to flee, and followed him back to the oasis. Whether the prophet escaped death, or whether another now wears his mantle, it does not matter. All will perish inside, and it will become a tomb at last. Neat. They found the prophet's followers and planned to kill them all. What was so dangerous about the prophet? Political power, most probably. Move to the side. How do I drop? Like, let's say I just want to drop. Am I really gonna have to jump down like that, like a maniac every time? Any shinies here?
or murals or similar things. No, just a bunch of dead people. And we checked that area. We haven't checked inside here. Oh. Loot. Seems we can't go in there. Yeah, no, that's a no-go zone. That's probably a no-go zone as well, yeah. Stop tying your hair every time you jump in the water. Yeah, we can't go up there. So, forward then. Assume this is the way forward. Any loot? No loot, no blinkies. Oh! Ew! Straight through the head. Should have jumped forward, tried jumping back. At least they have a little slowdown effect every time those traps trigger. So you get a fair chance, though. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was something lootable. I was like, what's that? <laughs> Good job, me. Loots? This has turned into me just looking for loot. My lord, the last remnant of the Prophet's followers have barricaded themselves inside his tomb. We have made camp at the entrance, and we are preparing to break through their barricades. I saw the man claiming to be the Prophet before they sealed the gates. And I admit, he bears a striking resemblance. But it could not be. No matter. They will all be dead before sunrise. The Order of Trinity will see that his heresy ends here. Alright, so I'm guessing then he did survive somehow. But the guy who actually drove the spear into him is like, nah, it can't be. Even though he admits there's a striking resemblance. Now this is the area like if you jump here and you fail, then you come down here, I think. But I'm gonna go explore in case I make it on the first try. I don't want to have to go back. Because there might still be loops. Might still be loot somewhere around here. Oh, it sinks. It's like it'd be kind of cool if it would stick there, then I could just wait around and gather up like a massive amount of bones. But they sink after a while. Let's do it! Okay. Does that mean I have to be quick? Or do I just fill it up until I can... No, it sinks again. Right, so it's either quick or I have to do something particular and shoot that not sure what that oh it went over there All right so I guess we're gonna have to use that at some point any blinkies that's something. Hmm. I'm gonna get flooded now, or do I get to step out of the way? I get to step out of the way. Really, that was not enough water to lift it that much. Hmm. So that's a climbable area, and that thing will go there when I jump on this, so let's try that. Up 
spawn it. There we go. Okay, good. I forget that you can, like, double climb or double jump or whatever you want to call it. So hang on to that and things filled with water and then what? Then cutscene? That is a strong ass door because that's a lot of water. No joke though, she is strong. Did we get? No, oh, it's just the cutscene is in 30. Found or is it? No, it's in 6. Oh, I remember this scene. Now we have to run, like, a lot. First she hides in the tomb. Set the charges! Frame rate in these cutscenes is all over the place. After all this time. And the artifact? Inside. God willing. Open it. Careful. It could be extremely dangerous. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me. You led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. I'm shooting and I'm missing mostly. Oh don't don't go bad frame rate now. I'm gonna need the frame rate if I'm gonna play. Oh, eat quick time. Oh, okay, slide. On. Doing great. And leap. Is there safety? No, it's gone left. Gone left. Run! Oh, rocks. Oh, jumpy. Right, so today we learned I can't shoot for shit. Because to be fair, we haven't been shooting much in this game, so it kind of jumped on me. It's 
Jonah! Laura! There's so much I need to tell you, I don't... Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes, but I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is going on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty, but I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here, in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. <laughs> Laura! <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would... It would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Overpopulation. Are you listening to yourself? Jonah, we've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. Shit, Laura. What are we gonna do? I led them to it, Jonah. If the divine source is real, we've got to find it first. Siberia it is, then. I'm sitting here with a frown looking at the FPS counter wondering how the fuck can a cutscene drop to like 12 FPS? I think DX12 is giving me some issues in the cutscenes. I don't understand quite why. I just pray that frame rate boosts up again once the cutscene ends. That is a stupid thing to say. Surely the goal is more important than... Surely the goal is more important than doing it on your own, so to speak. Uh, I'm looking at the frame rate and it's at 16 again. 
I really need to figure out what the problem is. But we have been playing for over half an hour, which is the length of the episode that I intended. So this is a good place to stop anyways. Um, so the story continues, and we are back now in Siberia. And apparently Trinity is here as well, as you saw. Uh, in the next episode, we'll try to find ourselves some shelter and not freeze to death. And if I remember correctly, that is also when we start dealing with the bow and a little bit of hunting. So, I hope to see you all then. And, yeah, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.